Hey guys, hope that you're all doing well. Welcome back. Let's play some more of our Unlikely Sons of Carthage. And uh, I'm thinking today is going to be the episode where we end up forming Andalusia. And so that's exciting. Um, hmm. We have a lot of things that we need to do to get out of this war. Um, piecing out East Frisia is definitely one of them. He'll want out in like two months, so we'll just let that happen. One more month, apparently. There we go. And uh, let's pull these galleys back over. And then have them come and... S block. What? Dude, oh my gosh. I didn't realize he was coming for me. They're coming for me over here too, aren't they? <sighs> hmm. Salzburg is now an elector, which is funny. Get away. They're really just gunning it for me. We're going to have to barrage this wall, which we can't do because we don't have enough cannons, right? They instantly barrage that wall. So let's get out over here. So this might be a good one for us. If they want to stack those guys on there, that's totally fine with me. Um, yes, get the extra shock damage. So morale is comparable, discipline is comparable. We have better tactics, so that's a win for us. It's a lot of war score. We're gonna need to start winning some of these fights if we want anything, if we want things to go our way. So we're gonna have to track this army down. I bet they're gonna flee all the way up. Naval reformer is dead, which is totally okay. Let's go with some, um, let's go for a trade guy, see if we can find one. Totally. Is there a straight river crossing? So we have four maneuver and they have two. So we're good. we're good with this one. No maneuver tick or morale tick for you. So that's really good. Are you not bankrupt? They have 30 loans. Not bankrupt though. Goodness. Right, let's go blockade this over here. Take the trade guy. We are still protecting trade up here, so... Our income is still pretty solid, but um, we need to siege this back. We're losing a lot of war score from that. Ooh, hey, Rattler, Radical Reform. So, cool fact for you guys. If you have a trade guy and an inflation guy, you get this. If you fire both of them, you can take 400 mana uh, for free. So, let's wait until next month. That way we can take this tech for a little bit cheaper. Hmm, actually... It's worth just buying. There we go. Free points. And there we go. Now we can take this and we can actually get our first idea already, which is wonderful. <clears throat> so, and you just rehire them because you can't, they can't uh, be kicked out of your court if they're not in your court. Oh, it looks like he actually was gone. Interesting. It's fine. Production efficiency is great. Let us flip over to uh, Diplo. As long as he doesn't siege back anything, I don't particularly care what's going on here. He's going to go bankrupt, and then um, we're going to be able to literally do whatever we want for the rest of the game against him. So, so Catalonia, what's going on with you? Well, that doesn't make much sense. Don't you love me? Well, now you have no more debt, so there you go. Be thankful. Okay. I don't think I'm ever going to win this fort, so I'm just going to focus on killing off his his enemy, his guys. Um, let's let them attack me, take a river crossing. Seems legit. I don't know what that's all about. <laughs> yeah, those losses are way heavier for them. Um, let's just siege down some more provinces. Now we're starting to get positive, and like I said, this is the boost we're taking. We're probably going to give Barcelona to uh, Catalonia as well. We'll probably just have uh, some strong marches, or a strong march up here. I'm not particularly obsessed with any um, specific plan of action here in this campaign, aside from the third way. Um, and obviously we're going to get unlikely candidate this episode whenever we form all Andalus, so that'll be nice. So we have a loan. We have two loans from an embracing institution. Yes, of course. Let's do something like a dis.
Got some rebels popping, like you do. Where are they at? Wait, where did those rebels pop? Oh, over here. I don't care. They're peasants. Couldn't care less about the peasants. He's gonna kill them for me, so that's wonderful. Very good. Let's go track his army down. Ay ay ay. Yeah. We're starting to get the show superiority, which is good. Go catch these guys out in the drylands. Wonderful. Beautiful stack wipe. There we go. We're going to be able to make some demands here. Uh, they're going to be super annoying. And uh, there's not really much I can do except for full occupy him and just hope that he eventually gives up on it. So we'll see. Truce with the auto blob is up. So we're going to want to attack him sometime soon as well. The fact that I, his capital is only a level 1 fort is so mildly irritating. But I released him, but then I, because I only had the one province, so. Ottomans have declared war on QQ. Ooh, QQ is attacking the Ottomans. They must be bankrupt or something. 32, so they're at 16, 16 loans, so. They have very negative prestige, so that's really good for them. Or good for us, I mean. Once we take this, we'll get a little bit of extra war score, and then we can start working our way towards getting them siege down. Um, this extra measuring the world is going to be really helpful as well, but uh, obviously we're not going to be taking it 13 years ahead of time. That would be idiotic. These points are much better spent giving me more money. As far as conversions go, these are so expensive. Let's um, partially state it. How's that looking? Much more affordable. Mecca. Do the same thing. And then convert Mecca. It's gonna take a long time. And then Crete. Same thing. Very good. Might be worth just spending the points to a full core Mecca. And over here, honestly, we're going to end up coring this up, so let's just do it. It's going to make it all go much quicker anyways. Okay, so I'd rather... I really need to not lose all this territory to rebels. We're going to need to siege them back, which is kind of annoying, but it is what it is. All right, let's just speed five it until we can... Uh, he's got rebels fighting on rebels. Oh my gosh, I fled. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Now I'm almost going to lose to those rebels. I mistimed the, uh... There we go. Mercenary cost. There we go. Beautiful. I'm losing war score because of these rebels. The fact that I can't get war score because he won't build armies now. I'd rather not lose that. Please don't win it. Oh my gosh, they won it. Okay. Let's do something like this. Hopefully not get attacked by rebels. Let's get these guys done over here. Get those guys off there. And we're just going to take what we can. Um... Have to have these three, and then... So let's just make sure. Restore all Andalus. We just need those three. Core provinces. Cool. Yowzers. Um, come again? Yeah, okay. That makes more sense. And you will give me war reps? No, but you will give me some money. Beautiful. We will core it, not... Uh, yeah, whatever. Let's just full core Crete for now. I don't care about you. So let us scudage Catalonia as well. Because I'm really sick of him getting siege down and losing me a ton of war score. Naj, you can siege. So we need to set our sights over here. We're going to have to keep on the uh, 
put our foot on the gas whenever it comes to keeping things moving. So we can take mill tech, but I also can get some uh, absolutism. So I'm going to do that. Um, these guys are allied to Ottomans and the Alsa, but uh, I don't care about Alsa. They're an OPM. Let's attack. And then get these guys down there. Siege them down. Ottomans are going to be an easy fight as well. So we're probably going to end up having rebels here, which is pretty annoying. So these forts over here need updated. So let's upgrade those. It's worth the money. This is all converted. Nice. Mecca is now a body. I love it. Very good. We need to take Rome as well in the near future. Um, Spain is done. He's going to go bankrupt right now, isn't he? Yeah, he's bankrupt. Well, let's see here. Would this allow me to attack him? No, Spain would join in on this one. If we wanted to, it would put a pause on these cores, but we could start on the death spiral for him. But uh, I think I'd rather just do what I came here to do. I need more trade power over here as well. Hmm. It is what it is. We'll, we'll see what we can do. We're getting 63 ducats a month now in trade, which is super good. Um, as far as these guys go, don't need you there. Don't need you there. Um, actually, I would probably put this on on trade. And then see how that affects that. Very good. Let's have these guys join them. Raid that. Oh. Yeah, they got annulled. Whatever. Let's see here. Liberty Desire. Oh, that's what I'm waiting on, baby. Yes. Oh, it's still stupid expensive. But we can start getting our um, absolutism cranked now, which is going to be really good. And we're going to attack the Ottomans here. Reconquest a ton of cores. We're still going to do show superiority, though. That's just too easy not to. The Ottomans have quite a bit of men in the field, but uh, I'm not concerned about it. Let's get these guys over here. Ooh, they still got their... It's actually not... Did I... Did I say to... There we go. Ay ay ay. No, no, no. What the heck? There we go. This is fine. I'll just march on over. We'll just siege down this one here in Lhasa. And we'll just suppress rebels as they pop, or as they get up. Spanish Separatists? Probably not, though. Okay, just kidding. We're going to fight these guys over here, because why not? We might lose some manpower, but um, the Ottomans are uh, going to go bankrupt, so I don't care. I'm going to give all of this clay to um, to Naj, but I'm going to take it for myself for now. Well, Hejaz, I can uh, I can annex that myself. That's no problem. Okay. So with here, where are you guys going? Let's um let's catch these guys over here. These forts are actually blocking them in here, I think. Let's take this fort here. Holy War, remember. Yep, there you go. That's a stack wipe on them. Beautiful. Cool, cool, cool. So I'm going to take all this. Oh, actually, Return Province might be cheaper. We'll see. Let's march on up there. Actually, just kidding. Let's come over to Cairo and siege down Egypt. That makes more sense. And as far as our next thinger, we have two merchants, so I need to fix that. Let's go with, um, let's take the stability. It's fine. Good. Let's 
pay off all of our debt. Convert some provinces. And then when we're done with this war, we'll be able to click the button. Uh, we need to finish coring Albacete, but we'll get it no problem here. Province of Du. No longer one of our core provinces. Oh, right, yeah. That was unfortunate. So Austria just declared on the Ottomans as well. So he's uh yeah, he's getting dogpiled right now, which is wonderful for us. We'll probably take um, as much of Alexandria as we can, because that's gonna be a lot of province or a lot of trade power that we can steer, as well as some trade power up here in uh, Aleppo. Admittedly, I should probably be steering from here, so let's do that. And then let's also steer from we're steering from Let's hear from Basra. See how that goes. So right now we're at uh, 76. Let's we'll see where it goes in a couple of months. Nice. Money for professionalism is always f nice. Big fan of that. Okay, so these guys are over here. Um, come again? No way. Bullshit, dude. Why? Why did they just try to kill themselves? Doesn't make any sense. Oh, that's gonna we're gonna lose a ton of money from that, but it's all good. I don't get like how they just destroy my navy that is much larger than theirs, but it is what it is. There we go. Siege them all down. Apparently I have my general died over there, so let's get you over here. 10k, dead. Very good, let's go take Haleb for ourselves. Okay, so Hejaz actually grew somehow, which is kind of funny. They're gonna siege back their stuff, but I don't particularly care. We're gonna take this. Ottomans are bankrupt by now. Okay. Somehow not, but it's fine. So how do, big is their navy? They have 41 galleys, man. I'm so done with their just stupid strong navy. Max absolutism is nice. Definitely want that. Don't want to spend the points on that at all. Um, I'm going to spend it one time just so I don't have to deal with them quite yet. Just because we have our entire military force over here. So let's do something like this. We're going to take all this clay. I cannot be bothered to handle this war anymore. So there we go. There we go. And then convert some clay over in uh, España. There we go. Are you guys bankrupt yet? No, they're not even like making that much progress towards being bankrupt. What's their manpower looking like? Let's see here. They still have 30,000. They have more than me, but uh, let's see here. The fact that uh, QQ is holding on to this land is kind of un unfortunate. Let's actually start annexing you as well. There's no reason for me to have this. Let us sabotage your recruitment, take you back, and let's build some spy network here. They have a, a lot of men over here, like a lot, a lot of men. I need to be careful of this. Like they have their entire army here, actually. So let's force march in. Um, they might back up. Yeah, they are. That's fine. They just lost way more uh, men manpower in that. Like, look, what are they doing? Yeah, they're disbanding a bunch of their men right now. You can see them. I guess I get national unrest? Question mark. All right, let's take this. This is actually going to make the peace deal a lot easier on us. So let's clean up the borders first and foremost. And then we also want to make sure we're taking as much of Egypt as possible. Something like, uh, maybe something like this. 
No, actually, we want to return all of Naj's cores. Is it going to be super expensive for me? No, only 19. Sounds pretty good. I definitely want to take Cairo. And uh, this is probably good. This sort of peace deal seems legit. So, they have all their men over here. Um, so, oh wait, we're going to have to take that back. He's not going to accept that until we have a, a fort over there. That's pretty annoying. All these friggin' rebels, man. Wait a minute. <gasps> My army got stack wiped and I didn't even see it happen? No way, man. I didn't even see it happen. Oh, I'm so upset. Okay, anyways. Wow, we're low on manpower, too. Okay, well, let's get you guys over here and then we're gonna handle a bunch of, uh, get a bunch of mercs in the army. Wow, that is so unfortunate. I guess that's what I get for playing Speed 5, you know? It is what it is. So are those Hijazi separatists? Expel them. Let's go get these guys off of here. We're gonna have to. Yeah, we got some Spanish separatists over here on the mountain fort, which is nice. Let's uh, flip this over to defensiveness, so they won't get it anytime soon. Um, you guys can come on over to this mountain fort and be my guest. Make my day. Make my freaking day. Oh, they're bankrupt. Yeah, they're bankrupt now. So this is good. Their morale is ridiculously low, so that's how you know they're bankrupt. We're gonna wait and take Imperialism. I'm gonna need to take this fort, then we can piece them out. Very good. Integration is a slow process. We can now peace out and we will also take war reps and uh, I think I'd rather take a little bit more clay. What the heck? This is fine. I'm gonna take some cash. There you go. Goodbye, nerd. Najd is big and juicy now and I can uh, core up a bunch of stuff. So let's do that. There we go. Uh, yeah, we'll hold off on it. Now we click the button. That's us. Andalusian Africa. Oh, it moves our capital. Interesting. Hopefully it doesn't move my trade capital. So, um, I'm assuming we want the Andalusian ideas. Let's look them up really quick here. Uh, let's see here. What am I trying to do? Andalusia EU4 wiki. There we go. Morale of armies. Ship trade power is really good. Fire damage received is really strong. Tolerance of heathens is okay, I guess. Idea cost is really good. National manpower modifier is really good. Core creation cost. Okay, these are super strong. We definitely want these. And a free colonist, so everybody can quit asking me to do stuff. <laughs> are you going to colonize? You should colonize. You should get expansion ideas. And there we go. The unlikely candidate, boys. Uh, for some reason it's not showing up. Well, that's really weird. It just showed up down here on my screen. I don't know. Cool. Well, I think that that is a wonderful place to end it for the episode. I'm going to... Oh, wait. We have to do this first. Let's go with coexistence. And just send a colony down there. So I need to suppress some rebels over here. And I'm going to need to get my army group built up. Uh, but we'll get that sorted out. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Please show your support. Leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And then if you would like to uh, see some more of this sort of content in the future, you can ding the bell and it'll send you a notification whenever we upload. Um, if you also want to check out the Discord, or if you really like me and you want to support what we're doing on Patreon, the links are all in the description below. So, with all that being said, this is Chewy Shoot, and I'll catch you guys later. A big special thanks to my new supporter, John Thompson, as well as my other two top supporters, Palmer and Bloodbound. Also, thank you to Jonathan Crane, Jaren Clampett, Lamb the Driver, Corbett Gaming, Michael Walker, Zwayhander, William Reed, Gregory the Bittersteel, Christopher Pegolo, and Airborne Animal 7. I appreciate you guys very much. Don't forget to check out the series we have linked on the left and right, and don't forget to subscribe.